What's up, Tech Gang? Stefan here, back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing the LG Style 5 versus the Galaxy A20 from Samsung. And in this video, it's going to be a speed test comparison. So, this is basically only testing performance of these phones. So, let's go ahead and start this video. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so these have pretty similar specs. I don't want to go over the specifications in this video. You guys pretty much already know the specs of these phones. If you guys did a little bit of research on Google. But we do have 10 applications on each of these phones. We're going to go ahead and run a speed test through this. Uh, but I do want to show you a few things before I start this. Now just for starters, I just want to show you guys that I did turn off all of the animations. So you guys aren't going to get any lag on any of these phones. Um, you guys are going to get what these phones give. And yeah, it's not going to be because of the animations um, all animations are off on these devices so just showing you that straight out the gates all right everyone so we have the galaxy a20 on the left and the lg style 5 on the right both devices are turned off we're gonna go ahead and hold these and turn them on right now power them up see which one turns on first all right everyone so the lg style 5 did boot up first so the winner goes to the LG Stylo 5 for booting up the fastest, but obviously that doesn't really mean much. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and start the speed test. First and foremost, N22 benchmark, three, two, one, go. It looks like the LG Stylo 5 did win that just by a hair. Next, the camera, three, two, one, go. Looks like the A20 won that one. Next, we have the clock in three, two, one, go. A21 that one with the Play Store in 3, 2, 1, go. It looks like the A20 didn't load it all the way, but it did get there first. But we'll give it to the Stylo 5 since it loaded everything first. Let's go back. Next we have here is YouTube in 3, 2, 1, go. These are both updated YouTubes. LG Stylo 5 won that one. Next, let's go to calculator in three, two, one, go. Easily the A20 right there. Next, we have settings in three, two, one, go. So it looks like it was a tie right there. The A20 was a little bit faster if you guys sl slowed that down a little bit. Next thing, let's load up Chrome with the Metro by T Mobile website in three, two, one, go. Galaxy A20, easily right there. Now let's see how RAM management did. Let's go ahead and click these and see if we can go all the way back to the first application and it will still be loaded. Okay, and to benchmark is fine with that one. Let's go back to the second to last over here. The camera, three, two, one, go. Okay, it looks like that was still loaded. Let's go back to the clock, three, two, one, go. Looks like that was still loaded. Let's go back to the Play Store. Let's see if that was still loaded. Three, two, one, go. Still loaded right there, awesome. So RAM management looks like it's doing a decent job. Let's go back to YouTube. Okay, still loaded, nice. Let's go back to calculator, three, two, one, go. Still loaded. And yeah, everything looks really good. Let's go back to the website again, three, two, one, go. See if it has to load, and we're good. That usually doesn't happen too often where it has to reload a page unless it's like a game or a high intense application or something like that. We've definitely come a far away from other budget phones. Next thing we have is Helix Jump in three, two, one, go. And the Galaxy A20 booted that up first. So let's get out here. And the last application we have is Temple Run 2 in three, two, one, go. Looks like the Galaxy A20, one right there. Galaxy A20 screen looks way better if you guys don't see that right now. Way, way better screen. All right, as you guys saw, I feel like the Galaxy A20 won the you know most important parts of the speed test. But obviously, we're gonna do a real speed test right now on Antutu Benchmark and see what phone gets the better score. So let's go ahead and start this off. And let's go ahead and start the speed test in three, two, one, go. Verifying sources, and it's about to start. 
All right, everyone, so just as I expected, the new Samsung Galaxy A20 did defeat the LG Stylo 5. Now let's go ahead and start off with the winner. For the winning score, we did get a score of 44,541 for the CPU, defeating 20% of users. For the GPU, we got a score of 21,173, defeating 11% of users. For the UX score, we got a score of 28,873, defeating 22% of users. And we got an MEM score of 5,974, defeating 20% of users. Now for the loser, the LG Silo 5, we got a CPU score of 27,670, defeating 5% of users. We got a GPU score of 10,080, defeating 4% of users, a UX score of 17,179, defeating 7% of users, and an MEM score of 5,238, defeating only 16% of users. So as you guys see, the LG Silo 5 did lose, and what was weird about this score is the LG Silo 5 got a lower score than the LG Silo 4, which is super weird um, they're technically the same phone actually they have the same processor um, the only thing that's different I think is it has one extra gigabyte of RAM uh, and a few other features added to the phone so if you guys were looking for a better phone than the LG Silo 4 I would definitely go with the Samsung Galaxy A20 it's better in all aspects and it'll make more videos on why it is better uh, but yeah, the Galaxy A20 won this competition. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you're not part of the tech gang already. Also, hit the notification bell down below if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Sylvan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.